The Ulrich Museum of Art's newest exhibition examines the lives of children behind bars in the U.S. It's a very powerful exhibit, and joining me right now is Jesse Klontz to tell us about it. And you know what? Art makes you feel uncomfortable in this instance, doesn't it? It sure does, but um, art is supposed to make you feel emotion, and in this case, it is a little discomfort, but um, hopefully enough to make you start talking. Well, before we talk about why the photographer, who is Richard Ross, took on this project, let's talk about why some of these kids are here. What are some of the statistics of children behind bars? Well, in 22 states and Washington, D.C., um, children as young as seven can be prosecuted and put into the juvenile detention system. Um, a seven-year-old obviously has uh, issues with determining what's right and wrong, so it's kind of an alarming, mm -hmm. alarming uh, number there. Well, why did the photographer want to take on this project? Well, this, the, the story I've heard from Richard Ross is that he once met a judge uh, who was overseeing these juvenile cases, mm -hmm. and he asked him if he, if he felt that he would ever be out of a job, given all of the, the youths that he had mm -hmm. helped or um, had tried to rehabilitate. Um, and the judge said as long as the state keeps making 10-year-olds, he'll never be out of a job. Amazing. Well, I know that he's been working on this for several years. He's visited 300 facilities in 31 states, including Kansas. And you've got 60 large-scale photos here, 18 of which are from Kansas. Tell us about those. Um, these are taken, he actually visited Kansas last year in 2013. Mm -hmm. He visited four facilities, um, Sedgwick County included. He thinks that Kansas is doing well in in terms of taking care of these kids, other states not so well. Yes, um, and in fact, you can of course judge for yourself, but you can see where a lot of these images are, are taken. The states are listed and our facilities appear to be um, very clean. Um, the children are wearing clean, nice uniforms. Um, they have a lot of interaction with the uh, the authorities who are overseeing them. Well, I know that art has the power to make change, and that's the goal of Richard Roth. Correct. Correct. And uh, this, this particular exhibition will have extended hours, and you'll have social workers on site to help people connect with services as well. I think that's pretty special. Yes, it is. We were lucky to be awarded a grant from the Kansas Health Foundation. Um, they are able to, because of this grant, mm -hmm. we do have the social workers available 15 hours a week to provide um, counseling resources. This isn't a situation where someone could come in and actually receive a counseling session. We want, of course, that needs to be anonymous. This is uh, for people who may know a youth who needs help and they don't know where to go and these social workers can point them in the right direction. Well, a fabulous opportunity. The exhibition opens on Saturday and runs through April and if you'd like to learn more about it just head on over to ksn.com and go to the entertainment link. Thank you kindly for having us out. Thank you. We're going to go back to you.